So it's kind of like this, right? I have this gift where I can read people pretty well. I've proven myself so many times in all my videos. I read into a lot of body language. I psychoanalyze. Of course I'm right. <laughs> but I wanted to see things that actually prove it. So I want to see this video and see what the hell they got to say. Slim Goody's Vision uploaded a video called The Truth Part 2. These are both Royalties World's old friends. Now they ain't friends no more and there's reasons behind it. For those who missed my live, you can go ahead and watch it, click right there. I said things in that video that apparently in this video will prove me right. I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. It is an hour long, I am going to edit this video because I don't want mine to be this long. We're just gonna get straight to those points. So y'all ready to react? <laughs> Cause I sure as hell am. Let's get it. When somebody keeps on doing this and this and this on your name, at some, at some point you gonna wanna speak up. This is gonna For be sure. my first and last <laughs> time speaking on this. I could never get on the internet and just throw shade. Now time to answer, this This is a Q&A. I really don't know the backstory on all this. Royalties World is the one that talked on them. So off of what Royalties World was saying, I knew the girl is toxic. <laughs> Not just in relationships, but also in friendships. And it was clear to me who was on the wrong. This is like the, the general story. Royalties World was friends with Slim first, the one to your right. And then she became friends with Dominique, the one to the left. Then Royalties World brought them both together where they also became friends, right? They're all in a circle now. And once Royalties World fell off with Slim, she expected Dominique to also not be friends with her. You know, that toxic shit where it's like, you are not an adult, you got to do what I say because I am a control freak. And when I ain't friends with one person, you can't be friends with them either. You have no control over your own life. That's the mentality of Royalty's World. Royalty's World has trust issues. She's not comfortable with it. So then by all means, walk away. If you ain't comfortable and you got trust issues, that's your own issues you gotta deal with. Just walk away. What she did. It's just funny how she expected Dominique to just stop being cool with people. It's like, you can't control that girl. All that stuff that she said on the live and the videos and the, on the podcast, I feel like they were unnecessary. I didn't even know <laughs> any of the beef that she had because this is the beef that she had. I have no Oh, damn. Money. Sounds like the tables have turned. Royalties world, do you remember when you said, what beef? Because as far as I know, you're the only one that's got the beef. Oh shit, what happened here? I was just going with the flow or whatever because I'm getting told, you know, it's no beef So She ain't did nothing to me and you know, we've been, we been vibing and shit, we've been cool. Like, you know, when everybody was cool. So like, we still communicating. Right. <laughs> and went out the loop. And Anna? so that's the thing, y'all. Like the whole time, you know, that she was out the loop, I I was kind of out the loop too, because like I said, I was being told there wasn't no beef. I'm gonna just say it, it had nothing to do with me. So you right, know, facts. When her opinion was voiced about, you know, what they had going on, I'm like, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Facts. So you know, I'm gonna listen to her, but I'm not gonna go back and say nothing to her because that's between them. You know what I'm saying? So good for you, that's how it was for me. Like I was just. Like, I don't know too much about Slim, but Dominique, I like that girl. She is really non-confrontational. She's that type of friend where you can go to and vent, and she'll just be a listening ear. She'll, she can give you advice every now and then, but she ain't gonna get involved. She ain't that type. Like, I swear, y'all, I thought we was cool. Even though I knew there was stuff a little catchy, like a little iffy, because the distance was starting to happen. But uh. like I said, I've been in this type of relationship for her, well, friendship with her for years. So this is not like, y'all already know, this is not the first time I fell out with her. So 
I'll, I'll basically, I learned my lesson the first time. The bitch is toxic. I'm sorry, but royalty's world is toxic. If you're going to be friends with her, expect to be falling off all the time with this girl. Because she, she just doesn't know how to maintain a relationship. A healthy one. And just like I said in my live, her and Tamika are cool right now. They say they're not friends. They might be friends now at this point. But I'm telling you this much right now. That friendship is going to fail. And when it fails, it's going to be because of royalty's world. She's going to do something stupid. I was about to say, so that goes back to what you said about you. She don't know what happened. She still don't know. <laughs> it doesn't end. She still don't know what the fuck um, happened. The thing about Royalty's world is she's very sensitive. She's very emotional. As you can see in her responses to things, she, she goes... She speaks emotionally rather than logically. So it's hard to be friends with this girl because she's gonna find anything to talk shit about. To, or to be heard about. Are you guys and your woman still friends with Titi? I hope so. She's a nice no. person. No. No. I don't have no beef with Titi. <laughs> Titi's is that ride or die type beef. of shit. Well, first off, I'm too grown for beef. So she's I really, gonna, if I, it's not even called beef for me. If she's I don't gonna, mess with Sorry, you, she's gonna always ride for her girl. So it ain't gonna happen. It's as simple as that. With Titi, it's always been love there, but when this stuff had hit the fan, if you're if you're with your woman and I know that you're coincide with your woman and you, that's y'all are one if I don't mess with your woman I can't mess with you if you know when your partner is wrong in the situation tell them that you can still be a ride or die and still let them know where they went wrong and TT ain't that type TT's gonna always follow along with, with what royalty's world is doing or saying even when she's wrong how are you gonna help your partner grow yeah, but, you know if we're not talking to royalty nine times out of ten we're not Gonna talk to TT, or TT's not gonna talk That's to That's unfortunate. Or, you know, what, you That's unfortunate. And because of Neek, TT's losing friends too. Oh, job. Yeah, respectfully, we saying real nice. So, <laughs> job. Everybody know the comments, y'all ask, so we saying real nice. I'm not making them no name because because you're grown. Want, like I said, I told we ain't children. When we when she first the whole live shit took place, like. Girl, I was just ready to you call me my name. You know what I'm saying? Right. Me too. It Might is, as well. Everyone knew who, who me by she was talking about. And I haven't been in the loop with that whole situation. I didn't know who, what the fuck was going on. I just recognized their faces, but I didn't follow all of them. So even I knew who the fuck Nick was talking about. I'm still going to say that I didn't do nothing to you. <laughs> nothing. There's, there's nothing that I did to you that you could not have talked to me personally about. And that's the gag. That's like some I sensitive said, shit, yo. I'm not surprised. Her, so I'm not surprised. Oh, but I am child. surprised because that it happened again. But differently. You had to go on the internet and talk about it this time? Like, really? You couldn't just call me. Call me? Hello? Are you cool with two? Oh, so they asking him. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, shout out to two. Like, um, I fucked with two. Like, we the same height. Like, I, from day one when, you know, I met Tamika. two with Royalty Nome, I was like, yo. So what's up with that then? Now I'm confused. No, actually, no. I take that back. I'm not, actually. Nick is still cool with two, right? Who's Tamika from Tamika and Shamika TV. Tamika still talks to Dominique. So they still cool. So what happened, Nick? Why aren't you giving that ultimatum to Tamika? She's talking to one of your friends that you no longer talk to. So what's the difference here? I'll tell you the difference. Dominique is so sweet to where you thought you can just step all over her and control her. You know you can't do that to Tamika. Tamika's too motherfucking grown, too strong of a person to be like, uh, and no, I live my own life. <laughs> you can't tell me shit about it. This already goes back to, like I said, after the first time we fell out to this time, I already knew off rip you was not a genuine friend to me. For sure. I, I could have been told that. you that. <laughs> I was doing friend to So my thing is, if you knew that, why, why did you? Refriend her because I'm a person who always good question, Dominique. The second chance and giving people the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. So the first, the first after the first time we fell out, I was cool, I was straight, I was getting on my grind, I was doing myself for like re uh, reflection on myself, getting mm. myself together mm. emotionally, mentally. Um, then she hit me up out the blue. Or whatever, after a YouTube video, apparently it was after a YouTube video, she hit me up. And I, was, and the, I guess the conversation, I felt like she genuinely tried to change. Like she wasn't the same person that she was the first time, so I genuinely wanted to give that a chance. For sure. And That's what I do too to people. Do you guys remember Brie from Subconscious? Y'all can check out the playlist. Um, there, we did a lot of videos together. We fell off, but we fell off due to my decision 
after many, many times of disrespect. The last time was when she disrespected me at work in front of our coworkers. That was it for me. I mean, now you're taking this to the professional setting, I ain't doing it. So it's okay to give people chances, but when you've given them too many and they have not changed for the better, it's time to let them go. I started seeing signs and various signs of stuff that just gave me flashbacks to 2019. That's when I was like, oh no. All of it that I can think about, yeah, you did help me. At one point, you put me on a certain type of game that I had to really go out and learn on my own. So I will always be grateful for that. But everything else behind that is like, now that I sit back and think about it, everything that you did for me was intentions and motives for me to do what you wanted me to do. Mm. And that's a true motherfucking statement. I spoke about this on my live. She did the same thing with her old friend of hers when she was with uh, J Vibes. Remember that old friend of hers who does tattoos? She tried to put her on YouTube as well, trying to make her get onto the game. Knowing damn well that she really didn't want to do it, which is why she doesn't really do videos like that no more. But you got Neek pushing them. What is there to be put on game about? It's YouTube. It's not that difficult. You can do your own damn research. Nika did not create YouTube. Don't thank the girl. Because everything that you that you said you did for me, it kept being thrown back in my face. That's so horrible. I said that was the thing that you were doing for me. That's horrible. Because I would never throw, I never threw anything right. I did for her in her face. That's crazy. Never. And to this day, I would never do it. Because there's no point. It's not surprising, though. Came from a genuine place. That's Nick, though. She keeps saying that she was an Uber driver and all this other stuff. Child. I don't have a car. You knew my situation from jump. I had a car when we met. I had a nice day on jump. I had to sell it. I had to give it, get rid of it because it was too much going on with the car and it kept coming out of my pockets for a car that then I might as well have paid, it was like paying rent for somebody with me, you know what I'm saying, being yeah. able to drive. So I had to get rid of that issue. And when I had my car, I was still not able to really drive my car. So what was the point of paying on the car and on insurance on the car that I can't drive? Girl, don't explain yourself. But for her, for her to come out with all these things, saying all the things that she did for Slim is like, what? Where's the genuine friendship there? Do you do it just to like, you can be proud of yourself so you can tell people what you've done for others? Or did you do it because you really wanted to help Slim out? Like, which one is it? I've helped many people, but I ain't about to throw it in their face. Do y'all think she got jealous because y'all became friends? Of course. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't know. On some weird shit. It was more so she just got in her feelings about the situation. I don't. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna stretch it and say she's jealous. Of she jealous. Don't don't. I think she be careful with your words. I say this all the time because it's true, and I'm gonna stand on it because I don't fall out with friends. Like my see? real friends, I have had. You see where the problem is. Middle school. So her whole issue for me was she felt like I didn't take her feelings into consideration. But it's like, once I talked to Slim, and if I feel like the situation wasn't valid enough, I guess I could say, mm -hmm. it's like, what's the point of me not, you know what I'm saying, fucking with you. If, like, if, it wasn't, if it didn't go across your morals or standards of what you want as a friendship, and it didn't validate the reason for her to be mad at me, why would you cut me off if I didn't do anything? Yeah, so... Or the, showing you that I, I'm that type of person. Right, so, you know, respectfully, the the reasons that she was mentioning, I just, I didn't feel that way, like... Child. So, I'm telling you, like, she's childish, you like, what you, what you want me to do? It did throw me to a left field, because it was like, where did all of this animosity come from? And why you just didn't talk to me about the situation is beyond me. Because she doesn't know how to communicate. We all know this. Even when she tries to communicate, it's so fucked up. She doesn't know how to speak to somebody. She hits below the belt. She's childish. And she's never going to see your viewpoint because she feels what she feels and that's it. Can nobody tell her different? Her reasons for not liking me. One what? is over a YouTube intro. Okay, tell us about this okay. YouTube intro. The whole, when I say, welcome to the mob, is her problem. But let's <laughs> rewind it back six, seven, eight months. To the beginning of this year, when I started linking up with them and started doing videos, let's rewind back then and show you how long I've been saying it and seeing her in the videos with me saying it. All right, let's see. Further ado, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell. And if you're new to the family, welcome to Goody Mom.
If you're new to the to Goody Mob, welcome to the mob. You gotta read the band. And if you're new to the family, welcome to the mob. <laughs> she brought up but evidence. Never have I ever Proof. All right, first question. Oh, before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you're new to the family, welcome to the mob. <laughs> Tim. If you're new to the family, welcome Tim. to the mob. Tim. So, all, all that. And me. I've been saying welcome me. to the mob since I started working with her what in happened? February. So, for her to come back to me about that seven, eight months what later, happened? down the line, out of nowhere, because it's not like <laughs> we were not talking to our friends before you created this. Uh, See, I'm all about facts here. And if you can show proof, I stand behind you. In your head that about a YouTube intro, you called me on the phone while I was in Florida, in the middle of me with my girl. I'm over here dealing with had, trying to have phone with my girl and at the same strength deal with the fact that my uncle had just passed away. And you're calling my phone about a YouTube intro. You Cause she's selfish. You didn't she's ask selfish. Me how my mom and dad was doing. That's why. You didn't ask none of that. Cause today. girl, your feelings don't matter. That's why. When it comes to Nick, only Nick's feelings matter, not anyone else's. All you simply asked me was, oh, and it, the tone. You it, it seemed like you didn't have an issue with it. It was more so, yeah. Um. Mm. Can you change, you know, switch up your YouTube intro or whatever, you know, I had a uh, dummy do the same thing and, you know what I'm saying, I just tried to do it this way. She tried to show me how she wanted me to do my intro. First off, why? Oh shit, she just found out something new. You showing me how to do an intro on my page. I don't understand that. It's YouTube. Everybody has the same intro in my eyes. Mm. Everybody say the same damn mm. thing. Everybody. Do they not? Yeah. Everybody. That's how, you know, I love that it's Nick thinks she created YouTube. Okay, she thinks she created YouTube. Like, people say, you know, welcome to the mall, welcome to the gang, squad, mm -hmm, you team, know, kind of the same thing. So family. Like, I even, I think I, <coughs> Again, trying to control her friends. So her did. So I'm like, if that, once again, go back, if, if that was my best friend, I'm like, I'm not gonna feel no type of way about that because it's like, that's my friend. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it, you take you know your job with youtube serious but it's like i'm supposed to be your friend yeah it's, i'm supposed to be I helping just, you we're supposed to be growing together this is the thing though you have to learn how to separate friendships and business okay so if you're gonna have a business together then Friendship goes out the window, okay? You're talking about business. But the thing here is, is that Nick is on the wrong. You can't tell someone to stop saying an intro that she's always said. There was a time where I did not edit your videos on time and have them done for you on time. Granted, I get it. But if I have family issues that I have to take care of because you do not, you're not in my household. So you don't know what goes on on a day-to-day -day in my household at all and it's none of your business on what goes on in my household if i have to take care of my mom and my dad on some stuff on some other stuff on on some health or whatever they need my help with i'm going to do it because right. they're my own parents so the the problem here though slim is that if you decided to take on this business role to have her videos taken care of at a certain amount of time you have to do that especially if you get especially if you're getting paid for it i'm not sure if you got paid for it but if you're not able to handle it due to family issues which you should prioritize family first then let her know that so she can find somebody else you know what i'm saying now with that part i understand nick my question is did you communicate that to her though because yeah. i feel like a lot of you know she is being on communication so it's like if you communicated that to her then okay i get it I did. but it, okay yeah. Oh, you did? You did talk to her? She got mad. And then she got mm. mad because it was something I had to do for my mother. Mm. Mm. On some selfish shit, yeah. like I said. So it's not, you know, someone who's big on communication did not feel She is not big on big communication. It's supposed to be happening with my name. She only wants y'all to communicate with her on everything. It's a control issue. She wants to know everything that y'all are feeling, y'all are thinking, y'all are doing. She don't feel to have the need to communicate with you. Full throttle. I mean. So you're big on communication, but you can't you can't communicate yourself. That's what I'm saying. I would never play with anybody's money 
it's not that's just something I know quickly hand that's gonna end up any in any friendship or relationship money. That's one. So I would right. never play with nobody's money because for one, money's never been that big of a deal for me. Me neither. If you wanna <laughs> But eat. we all know from the beginning of time, Neek has always been about money and that's okay though. For some people that's what creates someone's happiness. It's, and if that's what's making her happy, then by all means keep making that money. But keep in mind that that shit is not important to everybody. So, so don't expect your friends to hustle the way you do or to make money the way you do. And also, um, there was a, a weird vibe. Uh, I guess she felt like I like CT. But uh, to set up that, because I've had this. <coughs> That's the real reason. That's the real reason. Neek is a jealous person. Okay, it's not the intro. <laughs> it's not the intro. That was a cop out. The real reason why you jealous is because you believed Slim had something for Titi. You jealous? You jealous about your friend? Do you not trust Titi? You obviously don't trust your friend. You're that insecure. Oh, child, the jealousy. With her and Titi in the same room before three times. I don't want. Your woman. The jealousy is real. That was my auntie at one point. Before y'all, you guys have gotten together, and I knew that me and Titi was about the same age. She was my auntie, then she became my sister. So why would I even think that I? Why would that's you just even weird. Think that I would want someone like her, especially since you know and you knew that I was messing around, having friends and benefits, relationships, entanglements, and all that with her her niece. <laughs> she weird, yo. I'm sitting here with her niece, but like in TT. Yeah, that shit crazy. Because uh, I, I don't that's think that's possible. Crazy. <laughs> I, I, I never even made a pass at TT. Never. So, where did the you acting weird come from? Like, being around them? Like, why you feel like the you were acting weird? Or why she, you know, like, why was it weird for her, I guess? So she thought it was weird because I kept making sound effects every time I did this little, this little love dubbing stuff that they do in front of people. I don't, all my friends, I don't care. I support everybody in their lovey dubby situation. <laughs> I support all my friends in their happiness. So I, all that me doing the sound effects, that was me, to be honest, it was kind of crazy seeing you guys do that every damn time in the house. It's like, it just was cringy to me. And I want to add. So I guess Slim doesn't like public display of affection. I guess they were doing it too much. Like I... So it can make someone feel uncomfortable. Just because someone is uncomfortable does not mean that they want your girl and they don't like seeing you be in affection with the girl that they want. That's not what it necessarily means. They're just uncomfortable with that whole display of affection. Like, why y'all are doing too much? Y'all wanna fuck? Can y'all tell me to leave the room or something? This is weird, it's awkward. Understand, and I, I tell Rosie this before too. So anything that I, said to royalty, I mean, anything that I'm saying on this no. video, I, I have said it to her. With right. that, when it comes to my relationship, when Slim is here, or not even Slim, like my friends, anybody, when people come, like we are not, me and Bay are not affectionate in front of people. So. See, I'm the same way. I'm very loving. I'm very affectionate. But when there's one other person in the room, I'm not about to make them feel like the third wheel. Nothing too crazy. I can kind of understand where she's coming from with it because it's like, for one, I don't got nobody at this house. For two, I get it. This this, this y'all house is where y'all pay y'all bills at, but it's like Still, you kind of want to yeah, you want to make it comfortable for people. Like when we got friends up on. here, we're not like hugged up on each other, kissing on each other. Too much. Like, for one, we got room. We got our own bed, right. so it's like that's just something we don't do. But. I, I get it, everybody is different, but... No, I, that, I feel like, honestly, I feel like that was just an intention of rubbing something in my face. Ah. Uh, nobody there with me. That's what... It's maybe that slim, or maybe it was the fact that she was jealous, that she b truly believed that you had something for her girl. So she was letting you know, probably grabbing her ass or something, this is mine. Ugh. That is so bad. Because... You shouldn't be, I That's get it, y'all, you know what I'm saying, want to be in love, I get it, like I said, I'm not knocking that, y'all want to, she needs to work on herself, yo. Yeah. not be, trying to be, not, uh, what's called, weird with y'all, or knock y'all relationship, it was just, <laughs> okay, if y'all sitting right here, y'all doing all this, oh, babe, you know, uh -uh. What else, and I'm just sitting here, what else am 
I gonna do? Just <laughs> look at y'all. I y'all get a you. Whole room I feel y'all, you. I, like I said, you pay the rent. Cause y'all got a whole room, and there's somebody else that y'all want to mm. have stay here in the living room, mm. and y'all gonna come here and do all that extra stuff. Mm. Grab it on the I mean, all that stuff. Like, I get it, but it's just like when you have company. It's just a time and a place Manners. for all that lovey dovey. Like, me and my woman would never do that in a room full of people. <laughs> me neither. We don't say that from behind the clothes. We okay. Don't. Ain't nobody gotta know how I grab my girl. Okay, and the things that we do in the bedroom. Cause y'all don't need to see all what we do behind clothes or front and center. I don't want to see that. As a friend, I don't want to yes, see that. Yes, my. That was once upon a time someone I called my auntie. I don't want to see my auntie being grown. Right. Yeah, that's even no, worse. That, that's just awkward for me. That's even worse. So that's where instead of me just. Doing all that, uh, I was. That's why the old sound was like, oh, okay, get it, and all my side was like, okay, get it, okay, y'all. It was never no, uh, like that. It was more so, get it, or y'all go over here doing, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, get nasty or something, or go to the room or something. Like it was just yeah. little playful stuff, not not intentional stuff that I was saying to just make people feel weird. It's more so like, okay, y'all, since y'all gonna do it in front of me, I'm doing too much. Ass and shit, I'm too. <laughs> not <ass and> <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like what else am I do? I'm over here just dry, just dry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And for a sad chance, we just don't like to be dry for too long. And then y'all sitting here doing all this stuff in front of my face. I felt like y'all were just trying to put it in my face that y'all had it going on. And okay, good, but I don't need to see it. Yeah. Man, I'm yeah. with you. I'm with you. Um, I don't think we told when it really got weird. Oh, for uh, for um, like the whole situation, like when um, like I guess when the where the disconnect came from, like it was kind of like the engagement party, because you know people were like, well, what happened? Because they would choose at the engagement party. Oh right, right. So okay, this this is the background story. For all right, me. let's hear this one. So <laughs> we're like getting I was all the tea earlier today. in the video, y'all. This video probably probably gonna be like all over the place, but it is trying to tell it. Sorry, right, though. Without telling everything, but keep doing it because you're proving my points. We have been kicking. It. Right? right, like doing videos or whatever, um, with with Rosie. So yeah, she introduced us, and you know, just like I don't introduce her to my friends. Right, you know what I'm saying? That's just normal you know, life shit. A lot of stuff. How yeah, life like, works. Both of us do videography, right? So, like I said earlier, friend, business is about to be booming. You want to get this money with me? Yes, let's let's go. Okay, so we start working together. Okay. <laughs> All right, I had clients. I'm like, friend, come, you know, you want to come help me, um, or whatever. She like, yeah. So that's really when all of all of this started. This was probably like I want to say like maybe two weeks before the engagement party. And remind you, before this happened, there was no beef. Yeah, like I was told there was no beef either. So right. you know, I'm just I, I never got a phone call about uh, having a problem with me at all. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I want to say this out of everybody Dominique is the best communicator when someone starts to speak even if they interrupt her She stops to listen. She shouldn't be interrupted But when someone does she stops to listen and when that person is done speaking then she continues girl can communicate We start working so She see you know Instagram that we together and I guess that's, it seemed like that's when the beef came in like that's when it was brought to my attention oh, Lord. and I'm like Bro, what you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like I said earlier. It's not that I'm not taking your feelings on into valid. I mean, into consideration, consideration. But it's like, bro, we getting money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we getting money. Like, yeah, that was and of course, of problems. huh? That was another one of our problems. You feel like you feel like it? Yeah, she she said it. Remember? How is it that she could work with you but can't work with me? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's really what it was. That's some I was really just start working and okay. So. You hustle all the time, Nick. You're always hustling. How are you gonna try to stop their hustle? They're trying to make some money. And you trying to stop that shit? Mm, child. Of course, you know, when you work, we working, we gonna still be building a friendship because we working. But it's like, I wasn't even looking at it like that because I feel like we had kind of already been, been, been friends. Right, like, they've been cool. Been cool, like, Calling or texting, you know what I'm saying? We have been cool, y'all. So hanging out with y'all yeah. for multiple times. Yeah, so that's really and when that was happening, I bet you anything she was already getting jealous, but she wasn't letting y'all know. She's like, Why are they hanging out without me? Type shit. I think it's just that like we've been talking about doing this for a Well months ago, yeah, when you had asked me to um come work with you for that gig you had. So yeah, so um 
around Bay birthday, that's when it was all brought out because Slim was here and they wasn't here. They, I guess they, she felt like they didn't get, get an invite or whatever, but it was like, if you don't like me, why would they invite you right. to that humble abode? Right. When you already made it clear to us that you don't want to be right. around it or around her. You know what I'm saying? So it's uh, just, y'all, it's so. The back is forth of it. It's so immature. It's very immature. Child. And very I, childish. I just couldn't get with it. You know, I hate that it happened how it happened, but at the same time, like I said, I respect, you know, her decision. Um, I'm gonna repeat it again. I wish her nothing but the best. It's no love lost. <laughs> I told her that. Like, no love lost. Like, I hope she keeps elevating and, you know, I hope she get the success she wants and all that. Like, I fuck all that. I hope she gets the help that she needs. She needs a lot of it. She needs to, she needs to do a lot of self work. She needs to slow down on the hustling and work on herself. Just hating it, you know. Once she does that, she'll create better friendships. Happened the way it happened because, like, I don't know, y'all seen the vibes. Like when we was together, like we used to, like we really had a good time. So it's like you really, like, you let your emotions hinder you having a good, a that's, good ass friendship. That's all, sad. All I did, cause you didn't have to, you didn't emotional. Have to, you didn't have to cut Dominique off at didn't all. Didn't have I to. Knew, well, my, I could be in a room for a person who don't like. And me. you had a good friend in Dominique. Slim, I mean, I don't know about Slim, but Dominique, <laughs> nothing against you, Slim, but Dominique, I can tell, is a truly genuine person, and she really tries to see the good in people. So you had a good one in your life, and you lost yeah, it. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest with you. Like, Slim, Slim, no. I done told her. I'm like, look, Slim, you don't got no car. You need to stop smoking weed. You need to stop buying <laughs> weed. Like, ain't that's how be I honest like, with her. Like, you're my friend. I'm your friend. Like, Gotta be I'm going to pour into you and pour into you because I want the best from you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So... Um, like, that's what I did with, with her. Like, I poured into her. Like, I poured into her. Like, so, because she was my friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. so, that's I don't. Really pours into that child that I, I didn't even got sick pouring all that I can get Not into sick. But so, yeah, <laughs> I told her, I was like, you know, friend, I think you need to get counseling. Or, you know, go see a therapist or whatever. Like, and I don't feel like. That was wrong. And Nick, I'm not your friend. We all know this, but I'm an honest person. And I'm this honest and this blunt with the people that I love and I care about. And I'm an empath. And I see just because you're out of depression does not mean you got to stop working on yourself. You need help, girl. I'm still working on myself. I'm still doing some self, some soul searching. And I'm doing it while I'm traveling. But girl, you need it. I'm just being honest. And if you don't want to hear it from me, hear it from your friend. I to say that because like I said, if you're my friend and I'm seeing shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, mm -hmm. I feel like you need to get counseling. Yes, girl. So the last conversation we had, she like, nah. You Dominique ain't a yes woman, apparently, because she's being honest with her. Yeah, I feel like you need counseling. And it's like, what? That's not surprising. She's very defensive. The thing about Nick is like, she's anything that you want to critique her about or be honest with her about, she's going to look at it in such a negative way because she's so sensitive. And she's going to take it as an attack. Why? Because she reacts emotionally. She doesn't think things through. And she says stupid shit like that. Like, you got your friend here trying to help you out, trying to let you know what she's been observing and that you might need to get some help, you know, because to help you become a better person because I see these these warning signs and I don't want you to go backwards into your depression state. Instead, what do you what is your response to her? Well, I think you need counseling. On some immature shit. <laughs> on some child childish shit. Like you just projected it. Not that Dominique is a perfect person, but to me it seems like she's got her shit together. Energy that you have with yourself on me. Mm -hmm. Which is what she was doing with this whole beef situation with me. All her insecurities and all she, and jealousy that she had for me, it was all pouring out her pores that night. And that's what she did with that video on me. Someone that she barely knows, okay? She poured out all her insecurities, all her uh, negativity, all her jealousy, all her <laughs> everything onto me. And by doing that, she hits below the belt. That's the only way she handles it. Like, if I don't dislike somebody, y'all, 
I can be in the same room with you. I definitely can. Like, it's, I feel like it's, so, it's something much more deeper mm -hmm. rooted. Mm -hmm. If you dislike somebody that you once called your friend, if you dislike them that much that you can't be in a room with them, that's without being aggravated or annoyed or like wanting to fight or anything like that, I feel like to the that's extreme. Rooted. That's an issue that needs to be fixed. That's, that's extreme. That you share meals with. Yeah, like it's just that's so. Weird well, you don't to gotta me. talk to them. You don't gotta acknowledge them. Ignore them. But keep living your life. You know what I'm saying? But for you to have that much anger for somebody is like, what's well, wrong with like, you? Like, I would never put any of my friends in a situation like that. No. And so, you know, once I thought about that, that kind of made me fall back too. Because I'm like, no. Nah. I'm never putting my friends in those situations. Good. Like I'm this. glad you like, opened up your eyes. All of my Florida, my phone sending me all types of voicemails and voice memos shit. and stuff. I'd rather you had did it that way and spoke your piece <laughs> that way. Rather than you coming to the internet trying to, because you didn't try to not, trying to belittle me and try. It never to, works, you know, too. That's the funny part. <laughs> it never works. Like, Nick tried to do the same thing from, to me, and it did not go the way she planned. I actually gained subscribers, so. Here's you. <laughs> About a YouTube intro, bro? A YouTube intro. All right, I'm gonna talk about it right now. Me too. Um, Me too. You know, we don't move down past it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she don't move down past it. So you know what it is, what it is. Like I said, I'm gonna say it again. I wish them nothing but the best. I wish her nothing but um, the best too. I just hope one day she look at things different. Right. You know? I hope and so I too. Like if so, eventually uh, keep people in her life. She needs mm -hmm. to work on herself I hope first. Her last falling out with friends. So, no, it, mm, to be honest. if she's not gonna work on herself, it's gonna be another one. It's gonna be Tamika next. Watch. You heard it here first. Oh, this is the last time falling out with friends, and like friends said, I don't have. I, I wish you all the success that you at want. I hope you get it. Honestly, I hope. That's not even our share. Respectfully, I hope the, burn, the bridge that you burned was worth you getting to where you needed to get. We're about to be on to the next video. Y'all go check out Friends, uh, The Battles, and Dominique Battles' channel. Show some love over there. I'm not subscribed to neither. Oh, right. I still don't know love if I want to subscribe yet. Bye. My goody mom. I, I was right. I mean, they proven they proved my point about Neek showing toxic traits in friendships. I only speak truth, y'all. I, I speak what I observe. That's all. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.